welcome to the It Is On The Tribute Special. From a friend to a good loyal friend. Hi, I'm Wilson B. Gossi. Eddie Zondi was a friend, a brother, a husband, a son, a radio legend, and certainly one of Metro FM's favorite sons. And so tonight, we're going to take you on a journey and enjoy the music that made Eddie Zondi, Eddie Zondi. That made him the household name that we know him to be. The soundtrack of our Sunday. Sunday in and Sunday out. UP40 and the song was really, really one of his favorites. Many rivers to cross. Here it is. Dear brother and good friend, it is only spoke music. You see, music is a language, it is a universal language, and he was very articulate, he spoke it well. He was a walking encyclopedia when it comes to music, particularly soul and R&B. He built a career for himself out of the music he played, a very glittering and colorful career, and of course a great life for his family and friends. We have a double play for you. And I'm hoping very much that you will enjoy this double play. And after that, we will hear from his deeply saddened colleagues. Here's the music. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 
ED because of the kind of the music that was playing and every Sunday after three I was making sure that I listened to Brian ED because he was the kind of the person that he will if you are down he will make sure that you put your spirit high and for that it's a great loss for us as the Metro FM listeners to list someone of that kind of caliber but all I can say is that uh, Brian ED your spirit will always live within our hearts. You will always remain within our, our heart. Thank you for the kind of the message that you're always playing. Mr. Eddie Makosonke, rest in peace. black and white protection, 
Only trust the experts. New Shield Invisible Black Plus White. Superior protection against yellow stains and white marks. Helping white stay white and black stay black. New Shield Invisible Black Plus White. Also available for women. It won't let you down. Buy smart. Buy enterprise. No pork Viennas and bologna. The new Enterprise No Pork Range has all the delicious meaty taste and quality you'd expect from Enterprise. And when Enterprise promises there is no pork, there really is no pork. So don't compromise. Serve Enterprise. If it's on our list, make sure it's on yours. Carla Hurry! My Lord! My Lord! You want to see how much money you could have saved if you bought that phone at... Kalahari.com. Sure. Whoa! Kalahari! That's amazing! Amazing? Really? Yo! Whoa! How did you do that? Now look at this. Save 60 Rand on Ghost Stories by Coldplay. Or save 200 Rand on a number two KDAC Poiki Pot. Get thousands more mind blown deals every day at Kalahari.com. More for you. In the unfortunate event of death, the last thing your family should have to worry about is money. That is why the Clientel Funeral Dignity Plan pays out within just 24 hours. Plus, we will send 200 grand free airtime to help with the necessary funeral arrangements. It starts from 99 rand per month. Important, you can cover up to 13 people on one plan. SMS live to 44054 and we'll call you back. SMS now. Soccer stuff on skin. Switch to your 2014 product of the year for intense moisture and active skin protection. Looking good, going places. Switch to Budgets Insurance and get low, low premiums on your car, home, business and life insurance. And by keeping all your items covered under one roof, you save time and money. SMS Budget to 40322. Budgets Insurance, the easy way to save. You've seen Tandaza get married. Her wedding dress could be yours. Like the Standard Bank Facebook page and follow instructions to share your dream. You could be a winner. T's and C's apply. The Vodacom Durban July is around the corner and SABC2 is giving one lucky viewer a chance to win one double ticket to the VIP Boomtown in Durban on the 5th of July. The package includes flights, transport and accommodation. To win, simply tell us which channel will be broadcasting the Vodacom Durban July. SMS your name and answer to 34022. Get ready for the party of your life with SABC2 and Vodacom Durban July. It's such a great place to myself, to everyone who has really touched his, um, his life. In we, we, I mean, the relationship that we had with him, we didn't have to know him face to face, but you know, um, that the, by the way he was pursuing himself on radio, the music that he was playing, you know, the words, the comforting words that he used to say to people. It's such a great loss, you know. But um, anyway, he is resting, and heaven is smiling to have a person like him. Look, today we are here to commemorate the legend. Uh, Eddie, some of us worked with him, and uh, from a professional level, I used to be a you know, marketing manager, and I'm still a marketing manager in my professional level. And I worked with him at that professional level, whereby I was a promoter, and uh, he was delivering the service to us. You know, and Brad, Eddie was, when they talk about someone who knows the business ethics and, you know, business acumen, very, very strong. I mean, we, we have lost a legend. And uh, to those who have never had a moment to come closer to Brad Eddie, how he was on studio, he was the same way, you know, when he was with you personally. Yeah, he used to have uh, his way of, you know, Brad Eddie, township, he would say, mtumi, mtumi, chaga him out, erbata. That's, that's, that's Brad Eddie for you. But we're talking about someone who was very much close to the people and very humble man. And uh, I mean, like he really, really, uh, you know, gave us, uh, I would say, those lyrics 
you know, that music that he used to give us, you know, during on Sundays. Sundays will never be the same again. Oh, yeah.
Well, I need some cash. Quick. The power to connect when you need it most. A sore throat is one of the most common reasons for seeking medical advice. Teas, goggles and sprays may provide relief for a while. For fast pain relief, take Strepsils Vitamin C lozenges. Strepsils Vitamin C contains two active ingredients ready to work in one minute to fight bacteria associated with a sore throat, providing relief for up to two hours. So, for effective and long-lasting relief from a sore throat, take Strepsils Vitamin C lozenges. This has been Medifacts for Strepsils. It's the unique and original Kalawa Chiquita. Yo, Pamili, Pamivika, Shake on Zimba, Bella. In the lip of Gilly. My name is Busi Swa. Hi, I'm Busi M. Um, this is Outula Kangling. On Africa Fair. Wednesday night, 10 p.m., SAPC 2. In the past week, Eddie Zondi has received a lot of love in absentia from his many loyal Metro FM listeners, friends and family. And so on his behalf, I want to thank all of you individually and collectively for all the love. In the words of one Petty LaBelle, if only he knew how much you cared. I have a very special song for you from Freddie Jackson and Najee. And the song is All I'll Ever Ask.
just been watching the Edges on the Tribute special from a friend to a good loyal friend with me, Wilson Bigosi. The passing on of Eddie Zondi has shattered many, many people. Let's find out what they have to say about this unfortunate turn of events. Bra Eddie was, uh, I would say he was a brother to everyone out there, to every South African who listened to him because he was listened to over two million people, I'm sure. But he's one person that whenever your heart was bleeding and you tuned into Metro FM and listened to him, you get healed. So all I could say is that South Africa has lost a hero, a brother, a mentor, an advisor. Actually, we've lost an angel, but his legacy will always be there. It will never be forgotten. All I can say may his beloved soul rest in peace. I would like to say we're going to miss Eddie and the good music that he brought us. And always I'll say um, I'll miss the last time when he came to La Bongues in the West Rand. He made me feel so welcomed and enjoy my Valentine's Day. Hi, my name is Charity. I'm from Pretoria. I'm very touched about the passing away of Bra Eddie. Every Sunday, I have a date with him. After I cook, I'll lay on my bed and listen to Bra Eddie. The song, especially the song of Mel Bamo, and the voice of him saying, Eddie's on the baby. <laughs> That's how I love him very much. I used to call Eddie uh, while he was working at night, talking to him off air. But he didn't know me. I never uh, knew him by then. But we used to spend like two hours on air, like time to keep him busy while he's busy playing his music. And um, I was very, very, very touched on Sunday. After I've listened to his uh, music, I even said to my fiancé, oh, I had a wonderful day, Eddie made my day. And what I'll, what I'll just say to you guys is just Sunday will never be the same without Eddie's own day. Yeah.
I'd like to uh, wish our deepest condolences to Braedis uh, and his family, um, his wife and kids, um, uh, the, his in-laws, the Similanes, uh, most importantly, Umama, Umama Kapod 80, uh, and to Metro FM family, uh, the DJs, um, and, and most importantly, the listeners of the station. The love movement, 1.8 of them. He was a, a legendary broadcaster who served with great purpose uh, and make sure that uh, he entertained, entertained, uh, making sure that uh, the public broadcaster and the station fulfill its public mandate. Uh, Braedi will be remembered uh, for his sense of fashion, for his joke. He was a caring man who made sure that. Uh, he wanted to spread love, you know, people, he wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, people love each other. He used his God-given talent and his voice, you know, to serenade and entertain people. Um, you, you, he, he was a giant. He crafted his niche by identifying, you know, uh, the type of music, the type of content and, and, and audiences, you know, that uh, he could serve, you know, and make sure that uh, he perfected it. So he was really, really a great man. I think most of us, you know, got inspired by him. You know, um, he was here for 18 years. I mean, if you look 18 years ago, I wasn't here. I've only been here for two years and a half. Um, he, he, he clearly shows that we are here as broadcasters, as young broadcasters, uh, because of people like Brady. Uh, he will be remembered always and always. His legacy will be preserved by the brand by the SABC, I think by the entire country. Um, it, it will never be erased. Rest in peace, Nondaba. Lalaga Kakashi will always remember you. In celebration of 20 years of empowering South Africans, Vodacom would like to thank you by giving you today's devices at 94's prices. Like the Alcatel One Touch Pop 7 3G tablet for only 94 Rand per month on a standard MyMeg 500 contract. A tablet for only 94 Rand? Yebo Koko. Vodacom. Power to you. Headache. 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 Let's go. This friend ready to work in sixty seconds. Dissolves away headaches fast. We don't have much time. I'm sorry, but I couldn't be the man that you wanted me to be. No! Robert! The entertainment begins when you pay your TV license in store at over 10,000 outlets nationwide. Mary Shannon is back, and she now knows that there's one thing tougher than being a U.S. Marshal. It's called motherhood. But duty calls and she's back on the job dealing with the present. Wow, what do you think? Of the janitor's closet? No, Mary, this is for you. It's your station. For, you know, induced lactation.
location. And facing... I'm ready to talk about the shooting. The past. It was horrible. I did hurt him. I killed him. In Plain Sight Season 5, Sundays on 2. The singer Papa. I write. Oh, Papa, to talk of hell. Next on Mobango. Pukawane, or in Nalwin. Rubble in Pop. Get to Hell, you check on Ganachon, and Kuwala Maropuluani. You will never. When you quite and Jenzo could do no way. Any? In Nangudito Munangamanda, isn't he couldn't touch their own of Wiso? I just want to correct things. All those things that I did were very stupid mistakes. No good of Shiloin. Comrade, hey. Mobango, weekdays at nine. SABC2.
where were you when millions of South Africans were connected for the first time? Hello? Where were you when families could travel miles in seconds? Power to 20 years of connecting South Africans. It's nothing less than an honor, a pleasure, and a privilege for me to be spending this hour with you as we pay tribute to the favorite Eddie Zondi. I'll be honest with you, this has been a very tough week for all of us at Metro FM. And there is no doubt in my mind that you've also taken a knock. But one question remains, and that is, will our Sundays ever be the same again, now that the one strong link of the chain is broken? Well, only time will tell. But let's take a listen and a look, because we have the temptations, soul to soul, from Edizondi's rich music library.
celebrating 20 years of democracy, this season on Play Your Part, we take an extensive look at exceptional South Africans who have gone the extra mile in propelling our country forward. Their sacrifice and dedication to growing our country to be a sustainable and unified nation has inspired other South Africans to stand up, be heard and play their part. I'm Kabelo Mabalani and that's Play Your Part, Sundays 9pm on SABC2. Next on Tola. There is so much happening. Please, I can't. I'll let you know. No one of them knew exactly what you did. These photographs were sent to my office, Your Worship. It is the victim's loft kept under surveillance, as is often the case in a murder inquiry, in case the perpetrator comes back to the scene of the crime, which in this case, the perpetrator did. Tola, Tuesdays at half past nine on SABC2. Travel with us into the wilderness as SABC2 brings you an opportunity to explore untainted history in aim of preserving and celebrating our culture. This will humble your soul from modern beauty to tribalism, women empowerment, the importance of education, and the contrast in preserving our traditions. Let us share this experience with you. This is La Familia, Friday at 6, only on SABC2. behalf of the Zondi family, would like to thank you very sincerely for all the love and support through your messages on Facebook, Twitter, radio, television, publications, you name it. Nothing but nothing has gone unnoticed, and for that we thank you. Although the load is heavy, with your support and love, it is that much lighter. And from us, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bra Eddie was a personal friend of mine. I met him quite a few years back in Cape Town um, at a soccer match and we found that we had um, one thing in common and that was um, the love for the music. Um, he made a, he had a great con um, contribution into the South African music industry and um, he, he had such a great impact and I think he will be remembered for that, for the voice, um, for his laughter, for his warmth. You know, I will personally remember his, his um, very bubbly personality and obviously the love for the music. May his beautiful um, bubbly soul rest in peace. Because music the time Uluda Pan Rose show Nile, Milabing Tanda, Kuluda Pan Rose, the manager of Putti, and to aid the Bing Kazanai, who better young King Trouble Mkulu. Kakulas Uluda, Bing is with here. He made my day, if Ella Uluda, and Kumbula is only Luda Pan Rose, Wang Zale Laena, Wang Zale Langaze, Natoba, Capola, Jobahan Bilo Edi, Gatavan Gutaga Kofanai, but we will hear the Corinthians when they. So I listen to and I saw some kids. You see, I have bigger. So no matter how much I'm trying to follow the game, no way. The thing is, I like to stand up and carry on. I'm trying to go to the zoo. So I'm going to get the hamburger. No doubt, hamburger is a good thing. So I listen to Kumbula. I'm sitting on a difficult chair today, which Eddie Zondi occupied every Sunday afternoon. It's difficult to think about him in the past. Eddie Zondi was a friendly person always in a jovial mood. He was not afraid to express himself. If he didn't like something, he would express himself and just say it and let it out. He was an uncle to my children. He was a brother, a colleague who put his job first. He had character, discipline. He excelled at what he did. He made things happen. He was a charismatic leader who connected with his followers at every level. And personally, from me, I would like to thank the listeners. I want to thank South Africans who embraced Uedi whilst he was still alive and even after his passing on, 
Thank you so much for the love, for the support that you showed us as a brand. But I am eternally grateful for having shared a life with a special man, with a legend. You just don't get called a legend for doing nothing. Who Eddie made a difference in our lives as a team. He was a smart dresser. He always, you know, reprimanded people for not representing the brand. We will always take the spirit, the courage, the charismatic, the, the charisma that he had, you know, with us. May his soul rest in peace. Pardon me if uh, this tribute sounds rather personal, but it can only be personal. And to that end, I have something to say to my friend Eddie. Mrs. E, I bow before your spirit. I was because you were Mfana. I won't forget you. Never, ever. And you know me better than that. And thank you for everything. How do I say goodbye? And I'll take with me the man.
Nation Inspired. The Market Theatre has been a hub, not only for artistic talent and expression, but also for community empowerment and social cohesion. The theatre rejected the laws of segregation of pre-1994 South Africa and united people of different backgrounds and cultural persuasions through drama, dance, music and comedy. Tonight on Play Your Part, Mama Abigail Kubega takes us back in time to her days as a struggling musician. Paving the way for today's collaborative artistic environment, Claire Johnston speaks to us about the evolution of Mango Groove. Cultural icon John Kani reveals the message behind his new play, and we discuss the role of theater today as we celebrate South Africa's cultural transformation. First up, one of the biggest challenges of jump-starting a career as an artist is combating the lack of support and encouragement. Mama Abigail Kubega is all too familiar with this. Leaving home at 16 years old with no safety net and with her will to succeed as her only support, Mama Abigail tackled the hurdles of the industry and the barriers of the social landscape of the time. We start our journey in Soweto with one of South Africa's defining cultural icons. Theater, poetry, dance, music, the arts, have been paramount in transforming the political landscape of South Africa. Mama Abigail Kubeka has unified South Africans through her provocative and inspiring music, and also through a riveting performance in Cry the Beloved Country. At 73 years of age, Mama Abigail Kubeka has had her fair share of experience in the music and film industry. Even after her rise to stardom, Mama Abigail's roots remain firmly planted in South Africa. And she still lives here in Orlando, the very place where her story started. Mm. Hello, Ma. <laughs> Someone, How are Someone. You? I'm good, thanks. And you? It's good to see you. Lovely seeing you. You look like a superstar. Window dressing, <laughs> and uh, you're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, Ma. <laughs> this year and you've been in the business for how long 54 years 54 years mm -hmm. and it's 2014 yeah, well. and you're still winning awards when uh, how does this make you feel god you you i got i was paralyzed when i was given this paralyzed wow. completely because all my life has my life has been this yes entertaining people that is, I, and I defined, and, and, and I defied my, my parents, you yes. know, to do this. And now I'm honored for it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just said, I wish they were here to say, this is for you, mom and dad, you know. Yeah. As a living example of Ubuntu, Mama Abigail also runs the Abigail Kubega Music Instrument Project. You are playing your part um, in, in our country by, um, you know, infusing you know, good principles into young people. Mm -hmm. Why is that important to you? Honey, that is very important because that will help to know one another, not just to know, to understand one another. Mm -hmm. And through our different cultures, this is one of the things that's very close to my heart, especially with, with the kids. You know, mm. I want to give them what I never got. I was never taught, I was self-taught. So I want to teach them what I taught myself. Mm -hmm. And I know that more than what I'm going to be teaching them, they are getting some 
from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. They've got doors opened for them mm -hmm. everywhere. And so it, it, it's such a pleasure to, 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 be, to be part of this. And I just hope it's going to be a su success and get it going. So it's all about uh, su supplying uh, instruments to young children? Supplying instruments to young children wow. and in the directing them, giving them direction. Yes. Because I've walked this road, the stony road, yes. and I want them to, work, to, to walk on a pavement, mm. not on the thorns like I did. Yes. And this is the time, this is the chance, and this is the way to do it, mm -hmm. to teach them the culture. And not just say culture, 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 rainbow nation, when it's just on, on the surface. It has to go deep, it has to go down. The roots, where we're coming from, where we're going, and then we'll know where we're going. And I guess music and instrument is a perfect vehicle. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. It's the perfect, quickest, beautiful way. No fights, nothing. You talk musically. You laugh, you dance, you know, all that. Just one big, solid ball. Growing up in Soweto during the 1950s, Mama Abigail's parents weren't sold on her pursuing a career in the music industry. This is one of the first obstacles she had to overcome on her road to success. <laughs> Um, in our country at the moment who struggled with what you struggled with when you were a 16 year old mm. girl because to my understanding your parents weren't particularly excited about yeah. you uh, yes the thing is I was a singer at birth an actress at birth <laughs> that's what I wanted to do mm. and uh, I would listen to Miriam Makeba I would listen to Dolly Ratebe to Dorothy Masuku all those ladies you know and People, even now, don't regard in music as a career, yeah. but it's slightly, slightly better now. Yeah. They'll always say, get a proper job. <laughs> and that's what my parents were saying. They wanted me to get a proper job. So I didn't rebel. I just wanted to prove to them that this is what I wanted to do, and mm. this was my passion. Mm. And uh, because music comes from within you. Mm. You are taught the technicalities of music, but not to sing. Yes. Singing and acting comes from within you. You are born mm. with that talent. It's a God-given talent. Yeah. So that's what happened. Deciding to go against her parents' will, Mama Abigail's musical career started in 1957, when at the age of 16, Miriam Makeba, having noticed her talent, invited her to join the Skylarks Ensemble. Ma, let's talk about the 50s and the 60s. It looks like it was such an epic time to live in. Uh, very Hollywood and, and, and an amazing time. Please tell us about it. It was Hollywood, believe it or not. We, we struggled. Funny enough, you know, the oppression was unbearable. Mm. But it's amazing how people lived, came out of all that. Mm. We just pushed that aside, dealt with it. We didn't run away from it. We dealt with it. Mm -hmm in different ways. Some would speak out, and then some of us would sing about it mm. and be banned or arrested. But people were living. Mm. You know, there was the curfew law, nine o'clock, no black face in town. Mm. And then we'd perform in Benoni or Springs. I mean, there were no highways then. You had to drive through town, and the show is, comes out at 11. You have to drive to the town, and they would stop us. Vaksujele in the door, and detect. No, me bus, we're performing. Hey, Vaksujele in the door, detect. We're performing, and they say, me bus, on scan for the bus, saying me bus, as they believe. And we knew there are weak points. If you said bus, me groan, me bus, they would say, okay, okay. But no, no, on scan for the bus, saying. And then we'd come out with the instruments, set them up, and do a performance for them. And you know what we used to do? We used to sing their favorite songs, their, 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 their African songs. <laughs> and they would be so happy. And they would laugh. <laughs> and they would love that they would say, OK, OK. And they would say, OK, OK. And they would laugh. 
You know, so that was. <laughs> well, I'll give you anything to go back to the 60s. Absolutely. With you, though. <laughs> Sophia Town in Soweto in the 1950s, where Mama Abigail spent her teens, was a pressure cooker of dynamic cultural expression. This was the ethos in which Mama Abigail was to emerge as an artist and performer. This place used to be a bus. It used to, it was happening here, yeah, you know. And again, because apartheid, nine o'clock out of town. Mm. So it was happening in the township. Let's go into the Pelican. The Pelican Club. Oh, this place used to be wonderful. Does it bring back memories? Absolutely, yes. It's wonderful. Let's take this. You know, it's, it's, it's really a, a, a privilege, an honor, you know, to, be, to revisit places that you, 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 you once lived in. Now, this place contributed a lot to the socio-political landscape of our country. Oh, you said that the contribution is not much, it's not the same as time past. In this world, you win some and lose some. Yeah. But one thing I can say is that a lot of musicians got exposure mm. from, from, being, from performing here. Mm. And uh, a lot of bands were formed mm. because musicians would come here.